Hello all, welcome back to the course of Logic Design. This video is the continuation of the chapter, The Number System. In this video, I'll be explaining about the hexadecimal number system. The topics that we are going to cover in this video are binary to hexadecimal conversion, hexadecimal to binary conversion, octal to hexadecimal conversion, hexadecimal to octal conversion, decimal to hexadecimal conversion and hexadecimal to decimal conversion. I have included two typical examples under each topic which will be helpful for you in the examination point of view. Before starting with the fresh topic, let us have a recap of what we have learned in our previous lectures. The topics that have been covered in the previous lectures are fundamentals of digital circuits, elements of digital logic, nines complement and tenths complement, binary to decimal, decimal to binary and octal number system. And also I have done a few videos on the solutions of the questions given in this slide. The link of all these videos have been given in the description box. Let us start with the hexadecimal number system. The binary numbers are long. These numbers can be handled by machines, but it is difficult for the human beings to handle since it is lengthy. Therefore, one number system developed with this objective is the hexadecimal number system. The hexadecimal counting sequences are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After 9, it is A. A, B, C, D, E, F, where A represents 10, that is decimal number 10. B represents the decimal number 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14 and F represents 15. And the binary value of these hexadecimal numbers have been written here. So in this example, you have to convert 4BAC to the base 16 to binary. So let us write the given hex number here, 4BAC. What is the next step? You have to convert each hex digit to 4-bit binary. So let me write the hexadecimal numbers here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Instead of 10, you write A. A represents 10, B represents 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14 and F represents 15. So in the next step, you have to write the binary of these hex digits. What is the binary of C? C represents what? 12. So what is the binary of 12? We can use this 8421 trick. Uh, 8 plus 4 give you 12. So that write 1's under 8 and 4 and the remaining bits as 0. So this is the binary of C. Now write the binary of A. A represents what? 10. Again we can use this 2, 4. Sorry, 8421 trick. 8 plus 2 gives 10. Therefore, write once under 8 and 2. The remaining bits are 0. Now, B. B represents 11. So, 8 plus 2 plus 1 will give 11. Write once under 8, 2 and 1. The remaining bit is 0. Now what is the binary of 4? Binary of 4 is write 1 under 4. The remaining bits are zeros. Now you have to write all these binary numbers together. 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 to the base 2. So this is the binary of the given hex number. 4BAC to the base 16. The next example is to convert 3A9E 
point b 0 d to the base 16 to binary. So, the given hexadecimal number is 3 a 9 e point b 0 d. So, here the first step is convert each hex digit to 4 bit binary. What is the binary of d? What does d represents? d represents 13. So, you have to write the binary for 13. You can use the 8421 trick. 8 plus 4 plus 1 gives you 13. Therefore, one, write 1 under 8, 4 and 1 and the remaining bit as 0. That is 1101. What is the binary of 0? 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the binary of B? B represents what? B represents 11. Therefore, 8 plus 2 plus 1 gives 11. Therefore, what is the binary of 11? 8 plus 2 plus 1 means write 1 under 8, 2 and 1. The remaining bit as 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, you can write the binary for E. E represents 14. Uh, that is 1, 1, 1, 0. What is the binary of 9? Binary of 9 is 1, double zero, 1. What is the binary of A? A represents 10. Binary of A is 1, 0, 1, 0. And what is the binary of 3? 0, 0, 1, 1. Now you have to write these binary numbers together. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then triple 1, 0. Then don't miss this binary point. Write this point here. Then 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 to the base 2. So this is the result. So this is the example for binary to hexadecimal. Convert 10110 to hexadecimal. So what is the first step here? You have to make groups of 4 bits. First of all, let me write the given binary number 10110110011. First, you have to make groups of 4 bits. So this is your LSB, least significant bit and this is your MSB. So while grouping, when the binary point is not given, you have to start the grouping from the right side that is from LSP. So when you make a group of 4, from right side that is from LSB side, I will make a group of 4 bits. This is the next group and you can notice in the last group there is only 2 bits. So what we will do, we will add 0, 0 to it and make it a group of 4, 0, 0, 1, 0. And this group is 1, 1, 0, 1 and the bits in this group is 1, 0, 1, 1. Now you have to write the hexadecimal for this binary. What is the hexadecimal for this binary? 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1 is actually B. 1, 0, 1, 1 is 11. But we don't write 11 in hexadecimal. There is no number called 11 in hexadecimal. Uh, B represents 11 in hexadecimal. Therefore, the hexadecimal of 1011 is B. What is the hexadecimal of 1101? It is D. 1101 means it is 8 plus 4 plus 1. 13. So, we don't write 13 in hexadecimal. D represents 13. And the hexadecimal of 0010 is 2. So, the result is 2 D B to the base 16. So, this is the hexadecimal of this binary number. Here is the second example. Convert 010 to hexadecimal. 
So, this is a lengthy binary number and one more thing is here a binary point is given. So, what you have to remember here is when a binary point is given in the binary number you have to start the grouping from the immediate right of the binary point as well as the immediate left of the binary point. So, this is how the grouping should be done you have to start from the immediate right as well as the immediate left of the binary point while grouping. So, let us group this binary number. So, this is the first group 0, 1 and the next group next group uh, only 2 bits are given 1 1 you can add 0 0 to this 1 1 0 0 and uh, what about the left side in the left side 1 0 1 1 makes one group group of 4 bits next group is all ones in the next group again you can notice there is only 3 bits so you have to add 1 0 to that so that it will make 4 bits now you have to write the hexadecimal value for uh, 1100 is C hexadecimal value for 0 triple 1 is 7 1011 is B and 1111 is F 00102 so convert each group to hexa and then the result is 2 F B 7 C do not forget to write the binary point here you have a binary point write the binary point and to the base 16. So, this is the hexadecimal for the given binary value. Now, let us do the first example for hexadecimal to decimal conversion convert 5 C 7 to the base 16 to decimal. Here what you have to do is multiply each digit of 5 C 7 by its position weight and then add the product terms. So, the given hexadecimal number is 5 C 7 the first hexa digit is 5 5 into the position weight of this digit is 16 square plus what is the second uh, hexa digit C what does C represents C represents 12 so you have to write 12 into position weight of the second digit is 16 to the power 1 next 7 7 into 16 to the power 0 this is 1280 plus 192 plus 7 which is equal to 1479 to the base 10 so this is the result this is the next example convert a0 f9.0 e b to the base 16 to decimal so the given hexadecimal number is a0 f 9.0 e b to the base 16 here after the binary point there are three digits that is 0 e and b and before the binary point there are four digits that is a 0 f and 9 therefore when you write the positional weight you have to be careful when you write the position weight you have to be careful that is after the binary point you should write it as 16 to the power of minus 1 you should start with 16 to the power of minus 1 then 16 to the power of minus 2 etc before the binary point you write it as 16 to the power of 0 1 2 etc it will increase towards the left side and it will decrease towards the right side so let us start with the first hex digit first hex digit is a we cannot write a as it is 
we have to see a represents what a represents 10 therefore write it as 10 into 16 to the power 3 plus what is the second digit 0 0 into 16 to the power 2 plus third digit is f you cannot write f as it is f represents what 15 15 into 16 to the power 1 plus 9 into 16 to the power 0 plus now it is after the binary point after the binary point the first digit after the binary point is 0 into 16 to the power of minus 1 plus 14 into 16 to the power of minus 2 plus 11 into 16 to the power of minus 3 now you have to solve this what is 10 into 16 to the power of 3 it will be around 4960 you can calculate and see plus 0 plus 240 plus 9 plus 0 plus 0 0.0546 plus 0 0.0026 which is 41209.0572 to the base 10 so this is the result let us do this example for decimal to hexadecimal conversion convert 2598.675 to the base 10 to hex here they have given a mixed number that is it is having a integer part and a fractional part so when we get an integer part and a fractional part the conversion of integer part and fractional part should be done separately so first of all let us do the conversion of the integer part so which, which is the integer part here 2598 so let us do the conversion of 2598 to the base 10. So when you do the conversion of the integer part, you have to do the successive division and write down the remainder. Do the successive division and write down the remainder so first 2598 when you do the div uh, division with 16 it is 162 times divisible in this number you will get 162 into 16 uh, is 2592 so 2598 minus 2592 will give you the remainder as what 6 now divide this again with 16 so 10 times it is divisible uh, and the remainder will be 2 again divide with 16 the remainder is 10 you cannot write 10 as it is because this is hexadecimal number uh, so a represents 10 so write a instead of 10 so you have to do the successive division until the quotient is a 0 here the quotient is 0 so you have to stop it here now you have to read the remainder from bottom to top that is a to 6 to the base 16 so the conversion of 2598 to the base 10 is equal to a26 to the base 16 so this conversion is over this is the conversion of the integer part now we have to do the conversion of the fractional part so for that uh, write the conversion of just the fractional part 0.675 to the base 10 this is the fractional part so for the conversion of the fractional part you have to multiply this fractional part with 
16 you will get 10.8 in this you have to keep the integer part here itself use this fractional part to the next step and multiply that with 16 multiply multiply the fractional part with 16 you will get 12.8 again you repeat the same take the fractional part multiply with 16 you will get 12.8 again fractional part with 16 so this will get repeated 12.8 now what is the next step you have to read the integer part which is the integer part to the left of the hexadecimal point that is the integer part you have to read this integer part this is the integer part from top to bottom that is towards down so it is you cannot write 10 as it is instead of 10 what you will write a a represents 10 what about 12 c represents 12 so three c's will be there because 12.8 12.8 12.8 thrice it have been uh, repeated therefore point 0 0.a c c c to the base 16 this is the conversion of 675 to the base 10 now you have to join the integer part this is the integer part and the fractional part write it together 2598.675 to the base 10 is equal to a 26.a c c c to the base 16 so this is the result here is another example convert 49056 to the base 10 to binary so here the given decimal number is very large therefore it is difficult to convert this number to binary directly so what we have to do is first you have to convert this to hex then convert hex to binary this is what you have to do but here also you have to do the successive division itself successive division then you have to find the remainder while finding the remainder you will get the decimal value that decimal value should be converted to hex and then we will convert each hex digit to binary each hex digit will be converted to binary so this is the method that we are going to implement here so first you have to divide 49056 with 16 so this is how many times divisible 3066 times divisible and uh, the decimal the remainder sorry the remainder will be 0 because 16 into 3066 will give you uh, 49056 49056 again divide with 16 it is divisible 191 times divisible and the remainder will be 10 again divide with 16 it is 11 times divisible with a remainder of 15 again divide with 16 the quotient is 0 with a remainder of 11 now here you have to convert this decimal to hex what is the hexadecimal number of this decimal it is 0 itself what about 10 it is a 15 f and 11 b for writing this you should know the hexadecimal numbers which are the hexadecimal numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f where a represents what 10 b represents 11 c 12 
13, 14 and 15. Therefore, I have written instead of 10, I have written A here. Instead of 15, 15 represents what? F and 11 represents B. Now, what you have to do? You have to write the binary of 0, A, F and B. What is the binary of 0? It is 0, 0, 0, 0. Binary of A is it is 10, 1, 0, 1, 0. What is the binary of 15? 1, 1, 1, 1. And binary of B is 1, 0, 1, 1. Therefore, B, F, A, 0 to the base 16 is, write all these together, 1, 0. You have to read from bottom to top. So, when you read this from bottom to top, you will get B, F, A, 0. That's why I have written here B, F, A, 0. That is 4, 9, 0, 5, 6 to the base 10 will give you B, F, a 0 to the base 16 b f a 0 to the base 16 which is equal to 1 what is the binary for b it is 1 0 1 1 what is the binary of f 1 1 1 1 binary of a is 1 0 1 0 binary of 0 0 0 0 0 to the base Let us convert this binary number to decimal. Here the given binary number is very large. Therefore, we cannot convert this directly to decimal. It will be very difficult. Therefore, convert this to hexa, then hexa to decimal. This is the step that you have to follow. So, in order to convert this given binary 10110111, 1110. You should be very careful while writing the binary number. You should not miss any ones or zeros. Okay. Now you have to group these four bits. Triple one zero. Another four bits. Zero double one zero. The next four bits. Zero triple one. And the last four bits. One zero one one. Now what is the next step? Write this in hexadecimal digit hex digits so what is the hex digit of 1011 what is 1011 1011 is 11 so b represents 11 write b what is 0 triple 1 0 triple 1 is 6 hexadecimal for 6 is 6 itself what is the next decimal again 6 sorry this is not 6 4 plus 2 plus 1 7 it is 7 this is 7 4 plus 2 plus 1 7 and 0 double 1 0 is the binary for 6 and this is 8 plus 4 12 plus 2 14 e represents 14 therefore b 7 6 e so this is the hex of the given binary now what you have to do you have to find the decimal from this so for that b 7 6 f for that you have to multiply the first hex digit with its position weight so which is the first hex digit b we cannot write b as it is b means 11 11 into 16 to the power 3 plus next hex digit is 7 7 into 16 to the power 2 plus next hex digit 6 6 into 16 to the power 1 plus 14 into 16 to the power 0. So, we have to calculate this. You will get it as 45056 plus 1792 plus 96 
plus 14 which is equal to 46958 to the base 10. So, this is the result. Let us do this example of octal to hexadecimal conversion. Convert 756.603 to the base A to decimal. So, the given octal number is 756.603. The first step is you have to convert each octal digit to binary. The binary of 7 is 111, binary of 5 is 101, binary of 6 is 110.110, binary of 0 is 000 binary of 3 is 0 double 1. Now, you have to write all these binary numbers together. Triple zero, zero, one, one. The next step is you have to group these binary numbers, a group of 4 bits. So, when you group a binary number with a binary point, we know that we have to start the grouping from the immediate right of the binary point and immediate left of the binary point. So, when you group this right side, you will get 1100, 0001 and here only one bit is there. You have to add three zeros to it to form a group of four bits. Similarly, on the left side, 1010, here again 1110 and the last group 000 you have to add three zeros to it in order to make it four bits so triple zero one now the next step is write this in hex uh, 0001 is one itself triple one zero is e triple one zero e point double one double zero is c triple zero one is one this is 8. So, you will get 1 e e dot c 1 8 to the base 16. So, this is the result. Now, this is the last topic hexadecimal to octal conversion. Convert P 9 F point A E to the base 16 to octal. So, the given hex number is B 9 F point A E. You have to convert each hex digit to binary. This is the first step. Convert each hex digit to binary. What is the binary of B? B means 11. So, uh, binary of uh, B is 1011. Binary of 9 is 1001. Binary of F, F means 15. So, binary of S, F is 1111 point, binary of A, A means 10, binary of 10 is 1010 10, and binary of E, E means 14, binary of 14 is 1110. Now, write all these binary number together. Now, make group of 3 bits. So, we know that while grouping, we have to start grouping from immediate right as well as immediate left of the binary point. So, here 101 makes one group, next group is 0, double 1 and next group is 1, 0. Only 2 bits are there, you can add one more 0 to it in order to make 3 bits. Similarly, on the left hand side, triple 1 makes one group. Then 0, double 1 makes another group. Then double 1, 0 makes another group. And 1, 0, 1 makes another group. Now, you have to convert each 3-bit group to octal. So, what is octal of 1, 0, 1? 5. This is 6. Next group, 3. 7. Point. 1, 0, 1 is 5, 0, double 1, 3, 1, double 0 is 4. Now, you have to write all these octal numbers together, 5, 3, 4. 
सो दिस इज दी रिजल्ट